this conference, which is taking place there. We're now joined by our reporter, Francis Talaki. All right, so I understand that we will not have um, Talaki just yet, but let's just hear to uh, what the PS for Education, Belio Kipsang, had to say uh, while they opened that conference this morning. I'm aware about the 100% transition from primary to secondary. We have just concluded placing our students. We concluded yesterday placing our students into secondary schools. I want to tell you that every student and every child who did an examination last year has been placed to a secondary school. 100%. We had 1,056,000 places in our secondary schools, but we had 993,000 children doing the examination. So we placed everybody and still had an excess of 50,000. <laughs> we know it may not necessarily be excess because as a result of our president and the leadership of this country, meeting their commitment of free day secondary education. We expect some of our children who did examinations maybe a year earlier may want to come back to school to take advantage of the free education. So we thought that we needed some space in case some of our own children who did their examination last year might want to come back into the school system that they will get an opportunity to go back into schools. But we shall continue to make our commitment that all our children who do an examination at class eight will find a place in our secondary schools. We are engaging ourselves as government to make sure that four years from today, we shall have planned and adequately put in place structures to ensure that these children will be able to move to the next level of their academic life. All right, let me now bring in my colleague uh, Francis Mtalaki joining us uh, from Mombasa where that conference is taking place. Francis, good afternoon. Uh, so what really can you say has been the main agenda of this conference uh, this time now and as it's coming at a time when we've just re re uh, received mm. the results of uh, the uh, KCP examination? So what more, um, you know, can you tell us have been the center of discussions there? Well, Betty, some of the issues that I've been, I've been able to capture from day two of this uh, annual delegates conference is in terms of the reforms that uh, the ministry is undertaking both from the teachers uh, and uh, according to the CEO of the TSC that he, she says that uh, uh, from now the teacher, head teacher will not be allowed to stay in one institution in one school for more than nine years. There needs to be some uh, tra transfer that to be happening and also some uh, reforms in, in, the, in the new curriculum. But uh, more importantly, Betty, if you can allow me so that I can speak to one of the head teachers from the primary schools in Bungoma County. Can you introduce yourself? Bungoma Bay County, sorry. Can you introduce yourself and tell us uh, uh, what is your reaction to what uh, the uh, ministry is saying that you, cannot, you, you need to be transferred after nine years? Thank you so much. My name is Benta Nyangi. I'm from Homa Bay County. I'm a head teacher in Gotrabur Primary School. And another one I can say I'm also the sub-county treasurer, Kepsha. Now, on the reforms, I would say it is okay, that, like the CEO said. But on the other hand, it may not be okay. So because we are managers of schools, we are princip uh, principals in primary schools, but you find at times one sleeps on the job. For if one sleeps on the job for the nine years and then the, tr the person is transferred without any other proper reform, then it, will, it would mean transferring problems. But at times when one works hard, it is better, I would rather one goes to also work on bettering, making a bed, uh, the other place better so that there is equal balancing. For at times you find that some head teachers improve certain schools until they come up so well. But other schools like the neighboring school you find it's just down, down, down. So it is better if such reforms are transferred to other schools. But in case of uh, a problem, in case a head teacher is a problem in those years, then that teacher should not be transferred but should be sensitized, should be made to realize what actually they are supposed to do. 
Uh, and maybe let's talk about the new curriculum that uh, the CS also touched on and uh, TSC. And they, they say that uh, there's need for more training. And given that these, uh, some of the 160,000 teachers are being trained in Nairobi, do you think the government is doing what is needed in terms of uh, making sure that a new curriculum has been achieved? Yeah, the government is doing some good work because without training, one would not even do know what to do better. We, in curriculum management, one has to be sensitized. One has to go through some uh, skills so as to manage the curriculum well, without which a teacher would not know how to manage uh, the new, the incoming uh, uh, issues well. So the government must sensitize people, and again, as they sensitize people, you know, it is all about attitude. They should be sensitized well, they should have workshops, the, the, the insets, so that at even county levels, the teachers are aware and they are able to know, starting with the head teachers and then the teachers as curriculum developers. Well, thank you so much. Well, now I want to bring in the secretary of the association, that is Kepsha, to talk to us about what the TSC has been saying, uh, your reaction as an association. Thank you very much. I am uh, Mafuta David. I am the national secretary, Kepsha. And uh, we are here gathering as 10,000 hand teachers, 10,000 plus, a six, six uh, children's center. And uh, we have had, uh, yesterday we were with the... Uh, uh, commissioner chair, uh, Commission Chairman Man, Dr. Zomo. Today we were with the, the CEO, Madam Macharia, and uh, the Principal Secretary, uh, Dr. Berio Kepsang. And we have the Maybe what, what do you have to say about what the TSC has been suggesting in terms of the reforms? The reforms. Yeah, about the reforms, the curriculum reforms, all the reforms that, uh, in, in the teacher management. Now, we are happy as any teachers that uh, now that the deputy hand teachers, the, the, the senior teachers, and even the, the, the hand teachers will be retrained. And also they are going to have to give us uh, some hands of departments whereby they will be, uh, uh, they will be rewarding talents as it was directed the, by the hand of state, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta. So we welcome that move. And that one will also enhance the management in our schools and also reward performers. There's also some differences in terms of how uh, the, the, the grades are being done for the uh, head teachers. The, 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 actually, the difference is, is that, uh, you know, uh, it is such that the commission did not capture all the teachers. Because when you are talking about 26,000 and teachers of primary schools and equal number in the primary school and the secondary school. They are bound to have some omissions. And these omissions we are seeing, those who did not uh, uh, submit their names and which names are omitted, the, the commission is ready to have those things uh, rectified. I understand also in one of your complaints that you had raised in terms of the salaries and the differences that come from, from the grading, uh, do you think that the ministry is going to work with what you have been be able to present? Yeah, definitely the ministry has been very responsive, the TSC has been very responsive, and we always, always consult. And this time we are, we, are, we, we, we are sure, actually, and we are confident that what we have suggested, they are going to go by. But also there seems to be some differences in terms of the learning and the publishers are saying that uh, if the new curriculum is affected and the, reg the regulations that have been put in place by the, uh, the, the, the ministry, maybe they're going to affect the publishers. What do you have to say about that? Now, that is for the publishers. You know, we are consumers. The publishers and the booksellers and the, uh, okay, those, we, we know that the, the outrage, the, the, it was a business. But now this time the government has said it's going to supply the books. We as the hand teachers, we are waiting for the supply. And how we wish that they are going to actually procure those books through the publishers. So that also their business is, is not affected. But as far as we are concerned, uh, the way they are going to distribute them, the way they have been distributing exams, we are, we are okay. Well, thank you so much. Maybe if we can be able to pick one of the publishers around here, unaweza songa karibu na kuona una kitabu, tueleze, wewe kama moja wa chapishaji, there is a new regulation that is in place from the government side. Is this affecting your business? Definitely affect our business because initially, uh, booksellers were buying books from the company, then it's a in, the, in, in their bookshops. But currently, it's the government which will be purchasing uh, books from the publishers. So most of business people will lose their jobs. 
because there will be no interaction between the teachers, the sellers and the publishers. So it will be direct. So some of businesses will be affected and especially those small businesses they will be definitely affected. But when you look at the government proposal is that they're going to buy at least three books uh, for the students and uh, they have said that at least six publishers will be allowed uh, to compete for those positions and uh, be able to present uh, uh, books for the public primary school that is. Is that n not competition? Okay, in a way, you know, the only six publishers will be approved to supply books. Those are only publishers which will be benefit. What about other publishers which will not get that chance of maybe their books being approved? So they will suffer definitely. And with the new curriculum, how prepared are you? Okay, as modern publishers were prepared because currently some of books have already submitted to KCD for vetting. And we believe, we, we hope that some of our books will be approved. Yeah, as Moran publishers, we are said, because even some of the books we are using currently, they are standard, they are good. When we market those books, at least the standard is high. So as Moran publishers, we are well prepared. Thank you so much for your time. Well, Betty... You have anything, something to add? Okay. Well, Betty, that was one of the publishers uh, raising some serious concerns with, uh, with uh, regard to what the CS has been uh, saying and the new regulations and the policies that are in place in terms of the publishers. I now want to hand over back to Studio in Nairobi. All right, uh, Francis and Talaki, they're covering for us the annual uh, primary school head teachers conference.